Uh, my name is Tanya Dos Santos. I'm 39 years old, 39 in February, don't feel 39. I have a nine year old son and I do have a brother who lives in Mozambique. I work at Investec Bank, I've been here for about 20 years. I broke service when I was younger to go live overseas a bit in London, which was great. I grew up a lot there, so I'm glad I had that experience straight from school. And yeah, I was on my own with my son at home and I was just, I was lying on the couch, normal, it was a Wednesday and it was, I felt something on the high wall of my right breast, a lump and it was quite high so I was like, oh gosh, what's this? Sometimes you get a little bit of a gut feel that's a little bit different to the normal course of life. I phoned my, uh, my gynecologist that's all the only person I kind of knew out there and he said no come in straight away this Friday morning uh, he booked me for a mammogram and a biopsy which was the, very, the first time I've ever had to do those kind of things so during that it was a little bit frightening emotional my mom came with me which was great went through that then that happened and then the weekend came and went and hadn't heard anything and in my head I always thought if they phone you and they ask you to come in, something. If they phone you at night, then all good, you know. The phone rang from my, um, my gynecologist just stating, sorry to tell you that we did find it was cancer. So it was a shock. I was even like, what, what do you mean? I'm not understanding you. And then he explained and he says, just come in tomorrow so we can talk about it. So I was there by myself with my son. I uh, phoned my mom because she obviously knew that she was waiting for these things and she came over but during that time I was thinking to myself what am I going to do, what does this mean, how does this happen so I had to go back, I obviously did some more tests I, they, they had to do one of those lymph nodes um, operations to see if it had spread thankfully it hadn't spread then so it kind of the option started what I had was, it's called IDC it's in, um, invasive ductal breast um, what's it? Carcinoma. It happened very quickly. It was diagnosis, did the first op, second one was a full mastectomy because it was so high on the wall they couldn't save anything. So I had to do a full mastectomy. We then started chemo, I had to go through chemotherapy. At the same time I went with a new style of doctor who does the reconstruction during that time. They put, when they removed the, they did the mastectomy, they put in the saline water um, sort of breast, saline implants and from there while I did chemo we did the whole regrowing of skin which was amazing high technology and where we are especially with breast cancer so we did all that, finished the chemo and then obviously finished that treatment. Chemo was, it was interesting because I also went, was one of the first people that they asked if I wanted to test out that saving the hair um, scalp cap. I don't know if it's a whole process where it freezes up. You have to do it an hour before you start your chemo. It freezes because it's an ice cap. It freezes so cold that the chemo doesn't reach those follicles. And they asked if I wanted to try it out and be a testing one to two because at that side, losing hair, losing boob was a lot to try and understand what was going on. So I went through it. I had to do chemo every three weeks. Or I did six rounds of treatment, the Red Devil, which I didn't even know what it was, but every time it was like the Red Devil. But I did that, I, well, however, because I found it was the cap was still a new thing, that it probably wasn't operating, but people were also learning how to do it. And it was a very painful process. I had to have ice on my head for an hour and after the actual treatment, that the second last one I can't set, I'm done. What will be, will be. And then all here as well. So eventually I did have to shave my hair. I did all of that and I got through chemo. So now I'm a lifestyle. I said as part of my lifestyle, I every, every day I take a tablet of um, that taxi forum one. Every three months I have to go for hormone injection. Every six months I have to go for blood test. And every year I have to go for a full body x-ray ultrasound.